Hello and welcome to Isan Flix. Today I should give you a few facts I know from my experiences about village chickens or Thai indigenous chickens which have been part of Thai farmers way of life for centuries. It is said most Thais living in rural areas keep Thai indigenous chickens at home. These chickens of course are a source of food, protein and a cash income. Most Thais prefer the Thai indigenous chickens to the imported and more exotic breeds even though they have inferior egg and meat productivity as they can survive under the very harsh conditions and still able to re reproduce with the minimal care and management. Furthermore, the chickens play an important role as yard cleaners in rural areas by converting food leftovers and agricultural byproducts into meat, making the chickens a unique part of the everyday lives of Thai people. Normally, these chickens may be fed twice daily, morning and evenings. But as these chickens are free to roam around, they scavenge themselves for edible insects, seeds and fresh plant parts. The chickens may be fed on broken rice, a rice bran, brown corn kernels or cassava chips, depending on what crops are available. Another more practical method is putting up some light bulbs in the yard to attract insects. This method not only brings a lot of insects as chicken feed, but as human food as well. Moreover, the insects attracted by the lights can also be destroyed, thus, thus saving crops from insect damage. So, the indigenous chickens like rice are part of the Thai farmer's way of life and their attitude towards their chickens is similar to those that keep dogs as pets. Not only is the Thai indigenous chicken a food source for the farmer's family or a cash crop, but can be used for cultural and religious activities. And did you know the cock crowing is still used as an alarm clock for the villagers? And furthermore, it is said when chickens stretch out their wings to dry their feathers, it is a sign that rain will soon fall. So that's it for now on what I know about the Thai indigenous chickens. And until my next video, please take care and don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, but better still subscribe to the channel. So from me, Bye-bye, until the next time.